five ways to be intimate with a woman without having sex. So intimacy with a woman can take many forms beyond just sexual activity. Now, let me share a few ways to be intimate with a woman without having sex. My name is Jessica. Welcome to the channel. The first way to be intimate without having sex is through emotional intimacy. Let me break that down. So emotional intimacy is a deeper level of connection that two people can share. It involves being vulnerable and open with each other, sharing your innermost thoughts, feelings, fears, and feeling comfortable doing so. Emotional intimacy can be developed over time through shared experiences, open communication, and mutual trust. Spend time talking to her and getting to know her on a deeper level and you'll thank me later. Share your thoughts, share your feelings with her and encourage her to do exactly the same thing. Reciprocate that. Okay. Now, how do you develop emotional intimacy with a woman? I've got some ideas like really quickly, a encourage open communication. Like I said, make time for regular check-ins with each other about your relationship. Don't hold back on your feelings and concerns and work together to address any issues that you may have between you. B you want to be supportive, right? Offer support and encouragement when she needs it and be there for her during her most difficult times. Okay. C is to be vulnerable, share your own vulnerabilities and fears with her and allow her to do the same. This can help you to create a deeper level of trust and intimacy. Now D is to listen actively, listen attentively to what she says and show empathy and understanding when she expresses herself. Now, remember that hearing and listening are two different things. Hearing is the ability to actually perceive sound, right? An automatic response to sound waves that enter our ears basically. And it's not something we can control when you're hearing, you don't, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're actively processing or understanding what's being said. On the other hand, listening is an active process. It involves paying attention and making sense of what's being said of the sounds that you hear. It requires you to focus your attention on the speaker and to interpret and understand the information being conveyed. Listening involves not only hearing the words being spoken, but also understanding the meaning, the context and the implications. E spend quality time together. So dedicate quality time to each other, doing activities that you both enjoy and make that effort to actually connect on a deeper level. Developing emotional intimacy can take time and effort, but it is an essential part of building a strong lasting relationship where women are concerned. Now, the second way to be intimate with a woman without having sex is through non-sexual physical intimacy. I'll explain that. Okay. Now this is a great way to build a deeper connection and show affection. I'll share some examples here, right? Of, um, non-sexual intimacy. So for example, holding hands. Okay. It's a simple, but very effective way to show affection and intimacy with someone you love cuddling. It's reassuring. It's comforting. You know, it can help you create a, a feeling of safety and security, um, with the woman you love kissing. Now get this guys, not all kissing has to end up in sex. A kissing is just a gentle and affectionate way to express your love and intimacy, hugging. It's warm. It's comforting. It shows physical affection and can help you create a deeper connection with someone as well. Massaging. And I'm not talking about central massages. I'm just talking about an ordinary massage, right? It's a way to relieve stress, tension, create a relaxing, intimate experience for both of you, you know, going through that. You can even say dancing, dancing together can be fun, romantic, you know, a way for you guys to f connect physically and emotionally. Now, remember physical intimacy means different things to different people. So it's important that both of you actually communicate, talk about it and figure out where each other is at, where that's concerned. Now, the third way to be intimate with a woman without having sex is through romantic gestures. You may be saying, Hey Jess, but I'm not a romantic guy. Okay. I got you three simple things that you can do. Okay. Pay attention. A is to plan a surprise. That's not so difficult. Get a couple of her friends or get your own friends or mutual friends come together through her something special, right? Or it could be a romantic picnic, candlelight dinner, weekend away, if you can afford it. Right. Another option will be to write a love letter. Now, I think that this is an important point because guess what? Nobody does that anymore. No one's writing letters. So the fact that you actually put pen to paper, and write a heartfelt letter expressing your love and appreciation for her, I believe will score you some major points. Another option will be to do thoughtful things, you know, small gestures like 
bring your partner breakfast in bed whenever, whenever she sleeps over, you know, sending a thoughtful text message when she's away or leaving a love note can make a really big impact. Now get this being romantic doesn't have to be complicated. It doesn't have to be expensive. The most important thing is to show your partner that you care and appreciate them in meaningful and thoughtful ways. Okay. Now, the fifth way you want to be intimate with a woman without having sex is via shared experiences. Now, as the word implies, you know, creating these shared experiences with your partner can help you to build stronger connections and make memories, most importantly, memories that both of you will cherish for a long time. Let me give you examples of how you can do this, right? We can try new things for starters, explore activities or hobbies together whether it's a new restaurant, a hiking adventure, I mean, whatever it is, create that excitement, the experience that she'll never forget. And she won't. Another option will be to travel. If, if you're up for it, your pocket can afford it. Take a trip together, a weekend away, or maybe a longer vacation. You know, that also creates memorable experiences that you never forget. Another way to do it, which is cost effective and cheap is to volunteer, right? Volunteer together at a local charity and nonprofit organization may be working towards that common goal can create a sense of shared purpose and meaning. You can attend events together. If it's your thing, concerts, festivals, sporting events, sharing in the excitement and energy of a live event can create that memorable experience. And maybe I could say create traditions. And by this, I mean doing something that you'll always remember each other for. So let's say on the first of every month, you do breakfast or every other Sunday, you take a trip to a destination. And maybe finally, top of mind, share passions, right? Share your passion and interest with each other, whether it's watching a favorite movie or a TV show, reading a book, attending a workshop, class, whatever. Just remember that creating shared experiences doesn't have to be expensive. It doesn't have to be complicated. The most important thing is to make sure you're spending quality time together. You're having major fun and creating memories. And to wrap up this video, the last way to be intimate without having sex is actually, and I've mentioned a little bit of it earlier in this video, by listening and communicating right? Being a good listener and engaging in open and honest communication can help you to build intimacy and trust. Now, these are essential for improving emotional intimacy because they allow partners to better understand and connect with each other on a deeper level. When we actively listen to a partner, we show them that we value their thoughts, we value their feelings, right? And they'll begin to trust you and be safe with you. Effective communication can also help her to express her needs and feelings in a clear and respectful way, which will prevent misunderstandings and conflicts from arising in the future. When both of you feel heard and understood, you're more likely to feel emotionally connected and close. In addition, listening and communication can also help to build empathy, compassion, which are in my estimation, key um, components when it comes to emotional intimacy. So when we take our time to really listen to our partner and understand their perspective, we can develop a deeper sense of empathy and compassion for them, which can strengthen our emotional bonds. Let's wrap up. In conclusion, remember, intimacy is not just about physical contact. It should never be about that. It's about feeling connected and close to someone. By taking the time and building deeper connections with a woman through emotional, physical, romantic intimacy, you can create a strong foundation for a lasting relationship, a relationship that lasts a really long time. Plus, when you're not eager to jump into bed with a woman, you're able to build her trust for you quickly, simply because a lot of men do not do this. So you will stand out as different. I hope this video is helpful. If it is, smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one. My name is Jessica. Cheers.